What's up everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Toothpicks Barbecue and today we're going to be reviewing the Nakano Mito Santoku knife. Let's see how this baby holds up and what I think about it. Now let's go ahead and get right to it and let's give this knife a review. Now so far I've used it a few times and I found it very good in my hand. It's got a nice little grip right here. A olive wood handle and this Japanese steel is made right out of Japan and this is Nakano um, it seems like they make pretty good knives so far from the one I've had so far. Now let's look at some things that come with. It's got a little background history right there. It's made out of Seki, Japan. Okay, now I spent four years out of Japan, but that doesn't mean I was in the knives at then. But I know that they make some quality products out there. So a lot of people, they don't like overseas materials or anything like that, but I don't have a problem with it. If it works, it works, okay? So also, um, it gives you some instructions about, you know, not putting it in a dishwasher, things like that, um, dry it off, okay? You wanna do some things like that and avoid cutting against on the back pretty good you know without a problem no jagged edges on the meat whatsoever now I want to do a quick cutting demonstration and let's see you know how well it cuts on this tomato okay right here so I have a tomato and we're gonna go ahead and just without force to see how well it cuts okay so that's pretty good right there all right so also let's see how good it chops we're gonna go ahead and give this little slice right here I like to turn my tomato over and then let's go ahead and give it a couple slices so there is no resistance with that and now this is a new knife so a lot of knives you get of course they're gonna you know do that but the key to this is to really see how this holds up over time i've only had it maybe you know a couple weeks so far but you know so far it's pretty good I'll go ahead and take this you know uh, zucchini and it's not too soft like the tomato Give that a cut right there. Comes off pretty good, easy right there. And then as far as slicing, let's see how it goes. Hmm. No resistance whatsoever. Oh, one fell off. Pretty good right there. Good, nice slices right there. Good slices and, you know, chops from the tomato whatsoever. Let's get these going out the way. Now, as far as what I think about this knife, Time would tell. It depends on how often I use it and how I use it. Now you have to be smart. Don't be go cutting any bone with this, okay? This is not one of those knives, okay? Uh, this is good for, you know, cutting meats, you know, slicing and slicing vegetables as well. Not for cutting bone, so do not try that. Like I said, do not use this on a glass or marble cutting boards. Use it on wood or like I have here, this composite cutting board. I do think it's pretty good so far. And like I said, it has a nice weight to it. And Japanese steel, hey, can't argue with that. Now, if you do want one, I do have a link in the description and a discount code. You can do that if you decide to go onto their website, nakanoknives.com, and check out this Mito Santoku chef's knife, okay? Or they got other knives on there. And I do hope in the future that I'll be able to review some more of their knives. And if you do have anything you want me to review, hey, go ahead and reach out to me, okay? So until then, Toothpicks Barbecue. Hope you enjoy.